Hey guys, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial. So today we will learn how to design this beautiful presentation animation and this is something really unique and the topic I have chosen is artificial intelligence. So I hope you will like it. So please subscribe to my channel, join the membership, hit the no notification bell icon and share this video with within your circle. So before moving further, let's watch this. HiPDF is an all-in-one online PDF solution. It's a great software. You can compress your PDF, you can convert your PDF to Word and there are lots of options here. You can download this software by pressing this button and once it is installed, you can open it, open the PDF you want to convert and here is a sample PDF as you can see it's a calendar. So what we will do to convert it into the Word format, you just need to press this convert button and then press this button and it will ask you for the file name then press save and it will automatically convert your PDF to the world file so once it is finished press this button now go to the saved location and you can check the final output and here you can see it has successfully converted the sample PDF into the word file so for more information about high PDF online PDF solution, just check out the links in the video description. So now coming back to the tutorial. So this is a website called blobmaker.app and there you can go design a blob shape. So it's very simple. You just need to, you know, move the slider and you will get a shape like this. Just copy and paste on your presentation and then you can use this shape to design your presentation slides. So what I'm doing here is I have slightly rotated it. Now we will fill a color to it. So I've duplicated it and slightly rotated the previous shape which is at the back, the blue blob. So it's a random placement. So once you think it's, it's there, the shape is perfect as you want it to be. Duplicate one of the blob. And what we will do is we will only keep its outline and we will remove its fill. Currently I'm just experimenting if we need a gradient fill which I don't think is required. So I have so I have filled outline with the blue color and remove its solid fill. And we have sent it to the back. Now we will create a new slide. And we will paste this blob here. And we will duplicate it multiple times. You can do it like six to seven times or eight times. Then you can align to center, then align to middle. So these are the shapes that will animate in the background and that that's the one you watched at the beginning of the video the shapes that were moving or animating now you need to rotate each shape by certain degrees be it like 30 degree or 60 degree so keep on rotating the shapes in sequence by certain degrees you should follow a pattern and you can see a nice design is coming out so the idea here is once these all are rotated we will apply rotation animation on these shapes and once these shapes will start animating then it will create a very nice effect
Now what we will do is we will increase the transparency by five points on each of these shapes outline. So like it has 10%, next one will have like 15%, then it will be 20. So you can even increase it further. The reason why I am applying this transparency effect on the outlines of the shape is to create a nice depth effect. So we have kept a difference of 5 points, you can even increase the difference to like 10 points. So now you can select all these shapes and paste it on the main slide and send to back. So now we need to animate these shapes but before that we need to design the slide so we will fill a nice picture on the topmost blob shape. Again duplicate, the, duplicate that shape and align to middle then align to center then we will fill a nice gradient. So it's a it's an gradient it's a gradient overlay. So you can fill any gradient you want based on the theme of your presentation design. So like we have kept it blue. Slightly increase the gradient transparency as well so that the background is visible. The image that you want to highlight should be visible. Also you can move these gradient sliders to see what's the best output also you can fill the gradient on the second blob shape which is behind the image blob now select all those shapes and we will now animate these shapes here. Select the spin animation and you can see the output here. The shapes are spinning. Now select all these shapes in the animation pane. Select start with previous. Increase the duration by 8 seconds. And you can see these are now moving at a slower pace. And go to timing here and set it to repeat until the end of the slide and well you can adjust the speed of the animation by increasing the duration so it depends upon your choice also increase the delay on each shape so that they start at a different time so it will So it will create a nice effect. So I have increased a delay of 0.25 seconds on each shape. Now select the alternate shapes and move them anti-clockwise. So half of the shapes are moving clockwise and half of them are moving anti-clockwise. Now select the blue blob shape and apply the spin animation on it as well and we will rotate it half only and once it is once it has spun half then it will auto reverse first increase its duration select start with previous So now I've changed the duration of all the shapes to like 15 seconds and for the blue blob set it to auto reverse and set the repeat to until the end of the slide and you can now see 
it is looking really beautiful and the effect has come out really nice of course you can change the parameters the animation settings to make it animate like fast or slow also you can change the direction like clockwise and anti-clockwise so that's all you can do so that's the area where you can try and learn different things about presentations now comes the text part so i am so i am i'm sure that you already know that text styling is also important so i have filled gradient color on the text as well which is matching the blue theme that we are following also i have increased the character spacing so this is a dummy text of course you can design it as per your requirements so here you can add subheading where you can highlight the information in a little detail also here I have increased the character spacing and I have changed it to uppercase uppercase also looks good if you use in use it in combination with sentence casing and here comes the dummy text and we have kept the font size 11 so that the priority is given to the heading so now the text styling is almost done and let's align the heading as well we can move it in two lines slightly increase the font size and take a look it is now looking much better so presentations should be very simple as you know presentations are, are a simplified visual note cards that capture and you know re reinforce your ideas and not complete thoughts thoughts are something that you want to showcase with the small elements of design and combination in combination with the text For aesthetic purpose we have used the blob behind the main text as well and on the right as well now you can see it is looking very beautiful so now you can place it at the bottom corner and let's add a call to action button here so you can you know hyperlink this button to a specific slide or a link of your website that you want to showcase you can fill a nice gradient color here matching with your theme so overall it is it is a very beautiful slide and and i think it's more appropriate for technology driven presentations if if your topic is related to technology then this slide is more suitable However, you can use it for any topic you want. Increase the width of this rounded rectangle so we can see learn more in one line. And let's take a look. Although the slide design is almost complete but Let's do a couple of more things here. So we have removed the transparency from this bottom blob here, duplicate it, rotate it, increase the transparency on both the nodes 
and send to back I place it here and now let's take a look so this is the beautiful design and I hope you have learned it you can download this slide design from the g drive from the g drive link provided in the video description so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like button hit the notification bell icon share this video you can share your thoughts in the comment section as well so we will see you guys in our next video with some more beautiful and creative work till then see ya take care bye bye